Hello, I bought a PS3 in 2023 and it's amazing. Let me show you. What's up everyone, today we're going to be unboxing and checking out the used 40GB FAT PS3. We have two boxes which include the console, two controllers, 11 games and Gran Turismo 5 Signature Edition. But without further ado, let's start unboxing. I bought everything in the first box for roughly 60 bucks. And this includes the two controllers, all of its cables, the 11 games which were packaged in three different stacks. And as you can see the packaging looks really good. Anyways, here we have the console itself, wrapped up very, very nicely. Now let's go open up all of these items. Here we have everything lined up nicely. And without further ado, let's start off with unboxing the cables. We got all of the cables that we need for the console, as well as an AV cable and a controller charger. But I instantly saw that the power cord looked weird, and to my surprise it was manufactured by Apple. Anyways, next up we have the controllers. Now I instantly felt that the controller was light, and as expected, this was a regular 6-axis controller without any rumble features. Now you must remember that they bought a 40GB fat PlayStation 3, and that this was the last PS3 model that was including the 6-axis controller, which later on was replaced by the DualShock 3. Otherwise, the controller was a bit dirty, but still in good condition. Let's hope that the second controller is a DualShock 3. This time, I instantly felt a weight difference, and as you can see, we got a DualShock 3. Very nice! Overall, the controller had a few scuffs, but otherwise it was in good condition. Next, we have the games. The first stack came with games that had some really cool paper cover on it, and that was Metal Gear Solid 4, Borderlands 2, and Borderlands 1 which I think are some really exciting games. Let's see what the second stack of games includes. In this stack we find four games, and those are Call of Duty Ghosts, Skyrim, GTA 4, and lastly my all-time favorite FPS game, Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Now these are good games. And we are not done with the games yet, because we got another stack of 4 games, which are The Last of Us, a lovely classic, Killzone 3, Fallout 3, and Bioshock Infinite. I think all of these are awesome games to be played on the PS3. In fact, almost all of these games scored a 90 out of 100 or even higher on Metacritic. Finally, it's time for the main event. It's been almost 10 years since I last saw one of these masterpieces. But enough talking, let's unwrap this thing. Okay, let's have a look at it. 3, 2, 1... God damn, it looks stunning! But before we continue, we actually have one more thing to look into. Gran Turismo 5 was not only the best-selling racing game on the PS3, but the best-selling PS3 exclusive game. I'm extremely glad that I found this online, but unfortunately, the outer box is missing. But I'm not complaining since I bought this for roughly 30 bucks. As we take it out of the bag, I noticed that the box felt way heavier than I thought. The box is shaped like a hood which looks stunning, and honestly, I thought that this box would be made of glossy plastic, but instead it's made of beautiful glossy steel which of course had picked up some scratches. Just looking at this makes me sad that almost none out of today's games doesn't do these kind of special editions anymore. 
Anyways, this has a premium feel to it and inside the box we have plenty of stuff to go through. First off, we have an art book with a carbon texture that feels very nice. Inside the art book there are in-game pictures of some of the cars as well as the different environments. Just look at the quality on the pictures. Now remember, this is a 10 year old game. The next thing we have is a real leather wallet, which, you know, almost looks like any leather wallet out there. Flipping it up we can see that it has a removable mini wallet inside. And that is pretty neat. I can't seem to find the car that it's supposed to be included but, oh well, not a big deal. I think I won't use the wallet but if this was 10 years ago, I think I would. Moving on, we have the Apex Gran Turismo magazine, which to be honest I'm pretty excited about to read. The magazine has 212 pages and it's all about how a car works, how to take corners, track information on several tracks, and of course a few stunning photos. Alongside the game we got some expired or used DLC content, which isn't surprising. That means I get no extra benefits in game for buying this edition. Anyways, if we look at the game itself, it seems to be in a solid condition. And for the most part, the disc is scratch free. Underneath the game we have a keychain made of metal. It doesn't feel cheaply made at all, which is great. Besides the keychain, we got a USB stick. Without the USB. Only the plastic case. Now the seller mentioned that the USB was empty, and I obviously thought that he meant that there was no data on the USB. But apparently, he meant it quite literally. The last thing we have is an exclusive branded Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG 1-43 scale model car. It looks great, and personally I think that the branding matches very well with the car. Now, since they are so rare these days, I won't open it. But now, let's talk a bit more about the PlayStation 3. The condition of the console is very good. It does have some micro scratches on the glossy plastic. But to be fair, glossy plastic acts like a scratch magnet anyway. The PS3 model I have is the CECHHGA, which was the first model with the 65 nanometer RSX processor after the 90 nanometer RSX. It is the third generation in the PS3 family, which means that it has two USB slots at the front instead of four. Also, it is not compatible of running any PS2 games, just PS1 games. Finally, let's boot her up. That sound was a trip down memory lane. I noticed that the screen was glitching with some tiny red dots. But luckily the HDMI cable was causing the problem, so that was an easy fix. If we go down to the system information we can see that the console is on the newest version and have 37GB of storage. We had some games installed which were Crash Bandicoot and Buzz alongside some others. One thing I noticed is that the PS3 fat gets noisy even when just idling. I mean it could be worse, but still relatively loud. Now let's try some games and see how the console holds up after all these years. And take a look at that, seems to boot up just fine. Let's move on and buy a car to test it on the track. Get ready for some awful driving because I completely forgot that you accelerate on the X button instead of the R2 button. If we don't focus on my awful driving and instead focus on how the console performs, as you can see it delivers a smooth experience unlike my driving with minor to no lags at all, making the gameplay very enjoyable even today. The gaming is running stable at 1080p resolution which to be honest looks amazing even today. Okay, well, maybe not amazing, but still good. Then I hopped into a multiplayer game with bots on Black Ops 2. And again, it ran smoothly at 1080p. <laughs> this is probably the coolest kill cam of the year.
Get on my level, man. So what are my final thoughts on the PS3? Well, first off you must know if you want a specific model, because there are loads of different models. Personally, I didn't really care about the PS2 backwards compatibility, because I just want to enjoy PS3 games on the console. And since I also like to buy physical copies of games, then I don't need a massive hard drive. 40GB suits me just fine. The PS3 has many great titles worth experiencing, especially since you today can find games for the PS3 extremely cheap. So in my opinion, the PS3 is definitely worth considering buying in 2023. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.